Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds. Today I wanted to show you how much a, one of our deep boxes of honey weigh. It's going to vary to a degree. If you use 10 frames, it's going to make it a little bit different in the weight. I use 9 frames in my honey supers. This box is full of honey. And I am going to stand on this scale shamelessly. And then I'm going to show you my weight. And then I'm going to pick up the deep box and stand on it. And while this is not the world's best scale, it does pretty well. We'll be within a couple pounds at least. And I haven't hardly had anything to eat today, so you know I'm a little lighter than usual. But <laughs> uh, after Laurel's cooking, I'll add about five more pounds of good southern cooking. All right, so let's get this thing calibrated. Well, I was 152 earlier. Let me lean back a little bit. All right, so let's just say 150. Whew, I've slammed up. All right. All right, now let's uh, grab this sucker right here. Now, I can't see what that says. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. All right, so now we are at 200 and about 25. Wow, I planned that out just right. So that would mean this is about 75 pounds. Which is right. A lot of people will say that these deep boxes full of honey are about 100 pounds, which is not the case. And it probably, it could be a couple more pounds than that. But in my experience, a, a deep box of honey is somewhere around the, the weight of a concrete bag. So it's, it's really heavy still. Um, these exterior handles make a big difference. Now, one thing, this box right here is really lightweight spruce. I don't recommend them. Got the wood really cheap. So we went ahead and tried that out. I'm not gonna do that again. So it rots really easy, so you have to paint it really good. And it's just, it's more brittle. Don't use spruce. Even if you get a good price on it, I just, you can use it. I just wouldn't recommend it. If you already got it, it's one thing, but check this frame out right here. All right. That's a fatty right there. See how far that comes out? Just take your hot knife and just slice that right on off. I have no idea how much honey is in this one exactly, but it's quite a bit. And I, I know that a good full box like this is gonna give me around four and a half, maybe five gallons of honey. Um, I, I think probably four and a half is probably more accurate. So anyways, I know a lot of people will talk about how heavy those deeps are, and this kind of gives you an idea. Now, there's no reason, actually there's a lot of good reasons why you should use mediums for honey supers because I'm 30, you saw my weight. It's impressive. I'm a massive man. But uh, these are really hard to pick up, in all seriousness. And uh, just consider that when there's brood in them, they're not so bad. But this time of the year, when they're packing them away full of honey, it gets, uh, it gets really heavy. So keep that in mind. There's no reason why you can't use mediums for everything. I don't like it because that's more frames that I have to go through. But then if you're just doing it for a hobby and you're trying to keep it lightweight on your back, because let me tell you, it wears on your back the more colonies you do. And especially picking these things up and handling those frames and cutting them with the uh, little wax knife and all that stuff. So anyways, if you have any comments or questions or insults on how I've let myself go, feel free to leave it below.